All right, I'm gonna tell you about the decibel scale. This is a scale that we use to figure out the loudness of a sound. The equation that goes along with it looks like this. Beta equals 10 log, logarithm, base 10 of I divided by 10 to the negative 12th watts per square meter. This looks intimidating. Let's talk about it and break it down. Beta is the number of decibels. So this side gives you the number of decibels and we abbreviate decibel with a little d, capital B. So this is the number of dBs, decibel. You've probably seen this number on your stereo somewhere where you're adjusting volume because we're going to measure volumes in decibels. 10, this 10 just denotes the fact that this is the deci bell scale and not just the bell scale. If you didn't multiply by 10, you'd have the bell scale. But this is multiplied by 10. We like the 10. We're going to call it decibel. Log, we'll talk about log in a minute, logarithm here. I is the intensity of the sound wave. So this is the intensity. And in physics, intensity is defined to be the power divided by the area. And what this means, think about it this way. You've got your ear. And a sound wave, say, is coming toward your ear. If you imagine one, so power is in what? Power is measured in watts. Area is measured in square meters. So think about intensity this way. If you had one square meter, imagine one square meter of area here. This doesn't have to be an actual physical object. Just imagine a square meter of area. The power that passes through that area would be how many joules, if you figure out how many joules pass through this one square meter, if you ask how many joules per second pass through that one square meter, how many joules of sound energy per second pass through the one square meter, that would be the number of watts per meter squared, which would be the intensity. So watts is joules per second. And so this gives you an idea of how much energy per second passes through a certain amount of area. And this part of the equation is my favorite. This is my all time favorite right here. This number, this 10 to the negative 12th watts per square meter represents the threshold of human hearing. And what that means is this is the softest possible sound you can hear. Any sound with an intensity less than that you won't even notice. But if it's anything bigger than that, a human ear that's healthy should be able to detect it. Here's why I like this number. This is unbelievably small. This is one trillionth of a watt per meter squared. A trillionth. What this says is that even if only one trillionth of a joule per second passes through this square meter, your ear would still be able to detect a sound that's that soft. And if that doesn't impress you, let me put it to you this way. Imagine we did have one watt. Let me put it to you this way. If you had one watt, how big of an area? And a watt isn't really that much. A watt is not a lot of power. If you had one watt, how big could you make this area? How spread out? How diluted could one watt be spread over? How large of an area could this one watt be spread over and still be intense enough for the human ear to hear it? What do you think? Football field? You know? I don't know. A city? No, it turns out. If you do the calculation, I suggest you do. It's interesting. You would get that you can spread one watt over the entire land area of Germany about three times over and still it's intense enough for the human ear to hear. That's how unbelievably sensitive our ears are. It's, it's actually, I told you it was unbelievable. I can hardly believe it myself. So let's come back over to here. So here's our equation. This is the decibel scale. Why log? That's what you're thinking. Why in God's name did the physicists have to put logarithm in here? These scare me. They used to scare me too. Well, I'll show you why. Here's the problem. The fact that we can hear such a soft sound, 10 to the negative 12th watts per meter squared, means there's a huge range of human hearing. This means we can hear from 10 to the negative 12th watts per square meter. This is 
This is 0 0.00, let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 with a 1 watts per square meter. All the way where there's no upper limit, you'll just blow out your ears. But once you get to about 1 watt per square meter, this is when it starts hurting. This is painful. You're not going to be happy over here. Your ears are going to start hurting. You'll get start getting hearing loss. This is not good. So there's a huge range, 12 orders of magnitude. This one watt per square meter is a trillion times bigger than this side. This scale is just way too big. This is awkward. We want a scale that's smaller, maybe like 1 to 100 to measure loudness. We don't want to measure from 1 to a trillion or a trillionth to 1. And that's what logs are going to do. Logs are great. This is a trick physicists use. Physicists love this trick. Logarithms take really big or really small numbers and turn them into nice numbers. And that's why we're going to use the logarithm. So let me show you what I mean. Logarithm, if you don't remember, here's what logarithm does. Log base 10 of a number equals, here's what it does. I'm going to stick a number in here. Let's stick 100,000. What log does, log is a curious guy. Log's always asking a question. Log always wants to know, okay, if I'm log base 10, log wants to know what number would I raise 10 to in order to get this number in here. So log looks at this number in the parentheses, this entire number here, and asks, what number should I raise 10 to in order to get 100,000? Well, we know the answer to that. You should raise 10 to the fifth. And if I raise 10 to the fifth, I'll get 100,000. So if 5 is the number I raise 10 to to get 100,000, then that's the answer to this, that log base 10 of 100,000 is 5. And look what happened. Log took a huge number, 100,000, and turned it into 5. Well, that's outstanding. Log can take huge numbers, turn them into nice numbers. The logarithm base 10 of 1 billion would be, 1 billion is a big number, that's hard to deal with, but log takes 10 and asks, what number could I raise 10 to in order to get a billion? And I should raise 10 to the ninth, because I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 zeros here. I raised 10 to the ninth to get this number. So the answer to this question for the logarithm is 9. Oops, that's not 9. 9. And that's why logarithms are good. Logarithm took this enormous number, a billion, and turned it into 9. So logarithms take enormous scales, turn them into nice scales. That's why we like this formula, which is our decibel scale because it takes enormous intensities and small intensities, turns them into nice intensities. So let me show you an example with this equation really quick. Let's say you're talking to your friend. Maybe you're yelling at your friend. You guys are having a heated exchange. And so you're yelling. He's next to you. These are the sound waves coming at him. You're yelling with an intensity of say 10 to the negative fifth. That doesn't sound like a lot, but that's actually, you're pretty upset here. That's pretty loud. So I want to know how many decibels is this? How do we figure out the de decibels? Well, here's what we do. We use our formula for decibels. Beta, number of decibels, equals 10 log base 10 of the intensity over always 10 to the negative 12th watts per square meter, because that's the s softest sound we can hear. What do I get? 10 to the negative fifth is my intensity. So I plug this into here, and I'm going to get beta equals 10 times the log base 10 of 10 to the negative fifth, because that's my intensity, divided by 10 to the negative twelfth, now these are both watts per square meter. So those cancel. Well, what's 10 to the negative fifth divided by 10 to the negative twelfth? It turns out that's 10 to the seventh. So I end up with 10 log of 10 to the seventh. Now I don't like logs, I'll be honest, they freak me out. But I could even do this one, log of 10 to the seventh. Remember what log does, it asks, what number do I raise 10 to in order to get the thing in the parentheses? Well, the number I raised 10 to to get the thing in this parenthesis, it's already 10 to the 7th. It's already in this form. So I just raised 10 to the 7th 
to get 10 to the 7th. So the answer to log base 10 of 10 to the 7th is just 7. So my final answer, beta, the loudness, the number of decibels is going to be 10 times log of 10 to the 7th was just 7 because I had to raise 10 to the 7th to get 10 to the 7th. So 10 times 7 equals 70. I'm yelling at 70 decibels. I need to calm down. My friend's going to start getting mad at me. That's how you figure out how loud the sound wave is.